15 things you didn't know about Larry Ellison. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers and welcome back to another amazing video. This time we're looking at the founder of one of the biggest software giants in the world, Oracle's Larry Ellison. Larry Ellison was adopted at a young age and raised in Chicago's South Side in a reformed Jewish household. He began his career in various technology companies before founding his own, Software Development Laboratories, which began with an investment of just $1,200 and later formed the Oracle Database. Since making his money, he's developed a reputation for living a very extravagant billionaire lifestyle, where the word no doesn't exist. Alux.com is dedicated to becoming the world's best resource on the most influential business people and entrepreneurs in the world. It would just be wrong if we didn't take a look at the life of billionaire software tycoon Larry Ellison. Number 1. He's a fan of extreme sports and has given himself many injuries as a result. Ellison is a fan of mountain biking, body surfing, yacht racing, and other extreme sports, but that's exposed him to quite a lot of injury. He doesn't seem to care though. Despite having surgery for many major injuries, he continues to risk his neck and fund his very own yacht racing team, Oracle Team USA. Number 2. The Oracle Database is available in 63 languages. There are so many variations of Oracle that it's now available in 63 world languages, including regional ones such as British English and American English. Error messages, day and month formations, and time symbols are all language specific. Number 3. Despite being raised Jewish, he refused to have a bar mitzvah. Ellison's biological mother was Jewish, but struggled to look after him on her own, so she gave him up for adoption to her aunt and uncle. They were also Jewish and brought Ellison up in a religious household, but he rejected it at an early age. He stated that the particular dogmas of Judaism are not dogmas I subscribe to. He clearly found his true beliefs at an early age because the young Ellison refused to have a bar mitzvah. Number 4. His financial advisor has reportedly had to scold him for overspending. Some of Ellison's emails with his personal financial advisor were leaked in 2002, and they showed that the conversation can get a bit heated. Ellison was told off for maxing out his credit limit over a billion dollars to buy yachts and houses. Advised to calm down his spending, it goes to show that even billionaires need a budget. Fancy some insight into what Larry Ellison's shopping list looks like? Check out our video about the 15 most expensive yachts in the world. Number 5. He hired private investigators to search through a rival's trash. There's a rumor that Ellison rooted through Microsoft's trash to dig for secrets, but this is just a bit of an exaggeration. What actually happened is Ellison hired private investigators to search through the trash for him. And it wasn't Microsoft's, it was a research group working on behalf of Microsoft. Ellison came clean at a press conference saying that he felt good about doing it because we got the truth out. Number 6. Oracle nearly went under because of his aggressive sales strategies. In the late 1970s, Oracle hit a rough patch. 10% of staff were laid off and the company nearly went bankrupt because the sales staff's upfront marketing strategy just wasn't working. The sales team were urging customers to buy the biggest software subscription all at once, which made their bonuses look great, but these future sales didn't materialize. It landed the company in a lot of trouble, and Ellison chalked it down to an incredible business mistake. Number 7. He tried to buy an NBA team, but was turned down. Ellison tried to buy the New Orleans Hornets in 2011, but was passed over in favor of another offer worth $450 million. According to Forbes, Ellison badly wants an NBA franchise and wanted to move the Hornets to San Jose if his bid was successful. He also tried to buy the Golden Gate Warriors the year before, but lost out again. For now, he'll just have to be content owning a stadium. Number 8. He sued the city of San Jose in 2000. 
The eccentric billionaire got into trouble with the city of San Jose when he broke rules about late night takeoffs at the airport. The city had imposed a curfew, banning planes of over 75,000 pounds from landing or taking off between 11.30 p.m. and 6.30 a.m. Ellison's jet fell into that category, but he didn't fancy following their rules, so ignored them. He sued them and won, so now he can land his jet whenever he wants. Number 9. He held the record for the biggest real estate deal in U.S. history for a few months in 2004. Ellison purchased five separate lots in Malibu for $65 million. At the time, it was the biggest U.S. real estate deal ever made, but he struggled to hold on to the record. A few months later, Ron Perlman sold his Florida estate for $70 million, stealing the record. Number 10. Steve Jobs was Ellison's wedding photographer. When Ellison married his fourth wife, Melanie Kraft, a romance novelist, he had a very special guest taking the photos. Apple founder Steve Jobs was the official snapper on the big day in 2003. Ellison and Kraft married at his 45-acre Woodside compound by the waterfall. Jobs was joined by Ellison's son behind the camera, and they spent so long preparing them that they weren't made available to the press. Number 11. Ellison owns 98% of Hawaiian island Lanai. Lanai is one of the most beautiful destinations in the world and the sixth largest of Hawaii's islands. Ellison signed an agreement to buy 98% of the island in 2012 with the aim of turning it into the first economically viable 100% green community in the world. We're pretty sure that Ellison's grand plan won't interfere with tourism and there'll be plenty of couples getting married there for many years to come. Number 12. He hired a tree lawyer to take his neighbors to court over four trees. It's rumored that Ellison bought his neighbor's house from them in order to settle a tree dispute, but that isn't quite true. When a cluster of four trees were spoiling his view of San Francisco Bay, Ellison took his neighbors to court. The trees included three redwoods and an 80-year-old acacia, which his neighbors had allowed to grow naturally and untamed. They eventually settled out of court and the trees are coming down. Number 13. He's committed half of his fortune to philanthropic and charitable causes. Larry Ellison is one of 28 wealthy individuals and families to commit to giving half their wealth away to charities. He's in good company, joining Michael Bloomberg, Arab royalty, and Vladimir Potanin. In a letter he was apparently urged to write by Warren Buffett, Ellison said that he intended to give away 95% of his wealth. He hasn't gone public before when giving his money away, but Buffett said that he would encourage others to do the same if he shouted about it more. We can't imagine he had much of a problem with that. Number 14. Ellison's second wife signed away her right to Oracle for just $500. Larry Ellison has been married four times. The second time was during the founding of Oracle, meaning that his then wife had a claim on part of the company. After they settled the divorce, she signed away her right to the company for $500. She either didn't care or had no idea how valuable it was. Number 15. His Oracle salary was reduced from $1 million to $1 in 2009. Like many top executives, Ellison has embraced a dollar-a-year salary because he just doesn't need the money. Ellison joins Twitter's Jack Dorsey, Facebook's Mark Zuckerberg, and many others on a $1 salary because his contribution is great, but legally he has to have a salary. Larry Ellison is a complicated character. We hear the headlines and we all think we know him as the demanding, forthright businessman who breaks airport curfews and makes his neighbors cut their trees down. Underneath it all, though, we think there's a lot more to Ellison than meets the eye. He's revolutionized the software business and has become a figurehead in the tech startup world with his ruthless appetite for expansion. Oh, you're still here? Well, here's something else that's particularly surprising about Larry Ellison. Along with Tesla CEO Elon Musk, Ellison had a cameo in Iron Man 2. 
Robert Downey Jr.'s Tony Stark character is based on Musk and other extravagant Playboy billionaires, so Ellison was an obvious choice. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy, or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury enthusiasts in the world and tell your story.